Welcome back. This is part three of the Bunny Baby Security Blanket tutorial. So this video is going to be assembly. So you should have the blanket made attached to the head, both ears made, and both arms made. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to attach is the ears. And the ears are going to go in between rows five and six. So if you just start at the top and you count down one, two, three, four, five, you're going to attach them in this space between rows five and six. So to get started, you can just go ahead and pin your ears down just to make sure you have them both in the same spot and you like how they look there. So just take a second and look at your ears, make sure they line up, make sure they're even with the front of your blanket. So I'm going to pause this and get mine lined up and then we'll come back and attach these. Okay, so I'm satisfied with my, where mine are. So I'm going to go ahead and attach one. Okay, so just count down again. One two, three, four, five. So go down in between one, two, three, four, five, in between the space between rows four and five. And just go down in and pop out the head of the other ear. Pull it down. And then go back in the same space you came out. This time Take your pins out and lift up your ear and come out. You're still in this space in between rows five and six. I think I said four and five, it's five and six. And then go through the ear and pull it through the ear. Now go into the next stitch of the ear and make sure you look at the bottom and make sure it goes through the bottom too and then go down into the next space, still in between rows five and six. And just pop out anywhere in the head. And then go through the same hole you popped out of. And go back under the ear, still in that space between rows five and six. And go into the next stitch of the ear. Make sure you come out the front too and then go back into the next stitch of the ear, making sure you're going through the bottom stitches as well. And then go back into in between rows five and six and pull out anywhere. So that just attached the ear to the head. Now to make it look a little bit more natural, go back in between rows five and six And then go back through both the front and the back loops of the ear. And now we're just going to go over top of the ear, but you're going to go down in between rows five and six still. And then pull that. Sorry if it's hard to see being white yarn. And then you're just going to repeat. You're going to go back in between rows five and six. You're going to go through both the back and front loops of the ear. And then go over the ear, down into the head, through row five and six, in between row five and six. back through the same hole to row five and six and going through the top again and going over the ears and down just do this all the way to the end And 
then just look at your ear. It makes it look a little bit more like it's attached naturally instead of separate. And then just go back to the bottom of the ear and just find a stitch to knot off on. And then you can take the yarn tail down through the bottom of the head. You can pull it and snip. And now you have one of your ears attached. So now we'll go ahead and move on to the other ear, which mine fell out, of course. It didn't stand, so if yours fell out, just go ahead and pause the video and get it aligned again. Okay, so we're going to attach the this ear the same way we did the other one. So just count again. One, two, three, four, five. This is in between row five and six. So just go down. You can pop out somewhere else in the head. And then just go backwards and pop out in between row five and six. And then go through the back loops and the front loops of the ear. And then go over one stitch going through the front and the back loops of the ear. Back down into the in between rows five and six. And just over one. Go through the back and front loops of the ear. Over one stitch. Going through the front and the back. And back down into the space between rows five and six. And now we're going to go back in between rows five and six. And we're going to go through the back and front stitches of the ear. And this time, we'll go over top of the ear and back down in between row 5 and 6. And then just continue this all the way around. Okay, after your ear is attached, just go ahead and go to any random stitch back here to knot off on.
and then go back in through the head and go out through the bottom of the bunny. Okay, so now you get your ears attached. Next we'll be putting the face on. So you can kind of shape the head back in place and then decide what side you want the face to be on, which I feel like this looks more like the back here. So we're gonna go with this side. So let's first attach the nose. Okay, so using your pink yarn, we're gonna be working in between rows 10 and 11. So if you count down to row 10, and row 11, you're going to be working in the space in between them. So just go into the side of the face and pop out where you want the left side of your nose to be. Pull through and leave a little bit of yarn. And then you're going to go over three spaces and go back into the head. and kind of tug a little bit and that'll be your nose. So go back in the same hole you just came out of and go more to the middle of the head and then go back up where you came out for your nose and then go back in and pull. And this is so you won't see any pink in the corners. It's coming from this way and this way. So just go ahead and keep doing that. Going back to the middle every time and then popping out through the side. And then I just take the yarn and kind of place it over top of the other strands. and then back down and then I can go under the strands this time Okay, and I'm satisfied with that. So now you're gonna go down in between rows 12 and 13. So this is row 11, this is row 12, so this is 13. So you just pop out there in between the nose and then come up and under these strands of the nose and back down into the space between rows 10 and 11. Like and just pull it through. And you can fix the strands up. And there's a little bunny nose. So now you can take this give it a little tie and then cut this shorter and then you're just going to take both these strands back through the head and out through the bottom and then cut it 
Okay, let's attach the eye now. So go ahead and get your black crochet thread and go into the side of the face. And we're going to be working over top of row 9. So if you count down, this is my row 9. So you're going to come up through the space in between rows 9 and 10. And you're going to go over top of rows 9 and go in the space between rows 9 and 8. So after you do that, just go ahead and go up one space. And then back down and your eyeball should be slanted a little bit more outward at the top and then go ahead and go over it'll be about five spaces between the eyes and go ahead and make your other eye and now just go ahead and keep doing this until you get the thickness of the eye that you want. Okay, so now that I'm satisfied with the thickness of my eyes, you're going to go over one space from the top corner of your eye, and then just go down into the eye, and do it on the other side. Give it that kind of lash look. And then just go ahead and tie the strands of your eye together and then we'll take them down through the bottom too I should have left a longer strand out oh well yep just take it down through the bottom and go ahead and pull that tight Okay, so now you have an eyes and nose and your ears attached. So let's go ahead and attach the arms. So I like my arms to be kind of in the middle, sometimes facing a little bit more forward, but it's wherever you want them. If you want them straight out or if you want them more in the front, it's however you want to do it. But I do not pin the arms when I do it. When I attach them, I just kind of freehand it because it's kind of hard to pin them anyways but if you want to pin them you can but how I attach them is I place them where I want them to be and then I kind of hold them to the head and tilt the head up and insert into the head and this is about row 16 17 down and I come through the front and then I just make sure it's still where I would want it to be which it is and make sure that this yarn strand came out where the front of the arm needs to be if not you can always go back a stitch or forward a stitch but mine came out where it needs to be so what I'm gonna do is go through the bottom of the arm out through the front and then I'm going to go right back in that same hole that yarn came out of and I'm going to go over one stitch and then I'm going to go through the back and the front of the arm again 
and then I'm going to go into the bunny and I'm going to go over one stitch and then through the back and the front of the arm again into the bunny's head and over one stitch up through the back and the front of the arm down through the bunny and over one stitch through the back and the front again down into the bunny and over and that'll be about where you first went in to the head of the bunny and then go through the back and the front and then down into the head of the bunny where you went through originally. So then you can just make sure your arm's still in place, which it is. And I'm satisfied where that arm is. So just go underneath and knot off on any strand. And then go back through. I'm going to take it a couple places. And then I'm going to go back through the bottom. Then I give it a little tug, snip it. And there is one of the arms attached. So the second arm, you're just going to do the same thing. Yeah, place it, kind of eyeball it, make sure it's where you want it to be. Check it again. I think that'll work out fine. Attach it and I'm going to check it again. So, I'm actually going to move this one forward just a little bit. You might have to play around with it a couple times just to make sure it's gonna lay how you want it to lay after it's attached. Just check it before you fully attach it. And just that works for me. So now I'm just gonna do what I did with the last one. I went through this back hole went through the back, the front of the arm, and I'm going to go back into the same hole of the head I came through and over one stitch. And then through the back and the front of the arm and through the head and over one stitch. Through the back and the front of the arm into the head and over one stitch through the back and the front of the arm into the head and over one stitch Through the back and the front, through the head and over 
one stitch through the back and the front of the arm and back through the head where you originally came through and then pull and then just go ahead and knot off on any bottom stitch and then take it through the back of the head a couple places and then take it down through the bottom and now your bunny is complete so I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial I hope your bunny turns out beautiful if you haven't already check out some of my playlists to see other tutorials and subscribe to my page like this video and share it. Um, also, I have a Facebook group if you want to share pictures of some of the lovies that you've made using my pattern and maybe get ideas off of other people. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.